Hi everyone, I am Jackie, and if this is the first time you're on my channel, I hope you find something that you like, something that is worth watching, sharing, commenting, all that, subscribing especially. And if you are a returning viewer, you are the real MVP. I appreciate you and I say it every time only because it is true. So someone came up with a good idea for me to talk about the confidence and keep me a confidence in check when you are attending PA school. And I thought that was like a deep and appropriate topic because we never really talk about the anxieties and the stresses and the fears of not only applying and trying to work towards a program, but once you are in a program and I think it's an important topic. Uh, so first, confidence is something that is built. It's like a muscle. You have to practice it every day. And that's one of the instances where I do believe is better to fake it until you make it because you don't want anybody to just try and, you know, waver you from a decision, especially if you prayed about it, you've thought well about it. Um, you don't want anybody questioning your abilities, especially if you know the work that you put into it. For me, I would say that I've had to grow into my confidence. I Okay. But at baseline, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty sure about myself. Um, but I'm human and there are probably some situations where my anxiety is higher and I'm not as confident, but I push through. I, I'd rather just not sit in that place of not being confident. I'd rather like push through because I feel better when I'm not, um, feeling not confident. <laughs> If that makes sense, like if I'm in a situation and I'm like, wow, this is very uncomfortable, um, being confident is probably where I'm more comfortable. So I'm going to try to push to a place where I know I'm confident. Um, in pursuing PA school, I would say I didn't have a lot of naysayers only because I probably did not discuss it with as many people as other people do like I didn't have a consultation with my mom my dad my siblings I didn't have aunties and uncles and cousins or anybody saying like girl you was just in school not too long ago you sure this is the route you want to go I had a lot of support and I know sometimes people don't have that so my recommendation is sometimes it's better to just not tell everybody you need to only have like a core group of people who are in your corner, who have your back, who have your best wishes. And if they're asking a question or if they're, um, you know, interrogating you almost, it's from a place of love um, because they want to see you grow. Not because they're trying to shut you down, not because they are projecting their own inadequacies or lack of progress or lack of achievement onto you. And that can be tough for some people who are very dependent on the opinions of their family, friends, and loved ones. I would say that I'm kind of, I think because I'm an air sign and a Gemini that I just kind of like drift around. I'm okay, you know, marching to my own beat and I'm really good at like focusing on where I'm going and what I want. Even if you can't see it and I can't bring you on board, I know it's better for me just to show you like, okay, I want to go to PA school. You don't think it's a great idea. So... I can't get you to understand, especially if you don't even understand what a PA does. So like, that's always, I'm like, you have to ask yourself, do they even know what they do? Do they even know what it is I'm trying to achieve? We can't expect everybody to see our dream and have the same passion um, or see our vision and have the same passion and um, emotion connected to it and making sure that it comes true. So I would say, Sometimes it's better just to tell fewer people. It's better to show people instead of, you know, trying to go into these long explanations. It's hard to explain this sometimes. And then I think it's also important to not become so attached to what other people think, believe, and say. I think that really helps your confidence um, because people don't walk in your shoes. People don't have your experience. They can't really speak to what it is that you want to do as a big time goal and it can be hard when you have you come from a family where the parents are really on top of you and they have these expectations like for example say they wanted you to be a doctor and they're like oh my gosh 
you're not going to be a doctor. You're going to go be a PA. Do you know what a PA does? And then you have to ask them, do you know what a PA does? Because they may not even know. But they sh they are trying to diminish the, um, I want to say the, the prestige and the professional association that is there with being a physician assistant. They try to like diminish what that is. No, you can be up here. Just like you can be up here for everything else. Like I, when I think of a PA and I think of myself, I'm like, I'm up here. I'm up here. I ain't Jesus, but I mean, like I'm right up here. <laughs> and I think that is important. I also think that when our confidence is shaken as we pursue medicine, we have to just find people who are going to be that positive reinforcement, that light, that encouragement, um, we need to move from the negativity. Sometimes the negativity is comfortable because that's all we know. And sometimes you got to venture out onto your own path towards people who are going to help you get where you're going. And then you can go back and show them later. Like I told you, I told y'all, this is what I'm doing. Um, and I guess maybe it comes off easier said than done, but you have to develop tough skin. And I think it's important in medicine because you are dealing with a lot of people like this confidence that you need to have, you're going to need that to practice medicine. You have to be certain and be sure and be humble at the same time. But medicine requires confidence. You have to confidently diagnose your patient or confidently tell your patient, you don't know what the heck is going on, but I'm going to help you get to X, Y, and Z, refer you, whatever it may be. And um, building your confidence is going to help you because you're dealing with different personalities um, if you are a woman, you may have to deal with personalities that don't like to take orders or commands or suggestions and recommendations from a woman. If you are a black person or a person of color, you're going to be dealing with people who are not used to people of color being able to tell them what to do, what they need. And you need to have confidence. Like you have to develop some tough skin and I think that's just important to start building early on. Like I work on my girls' confidence. They are teenagers. I am on them. I tell them, first of all, you are fantastic. You're not only beautiful on the outside, you're beautiful on the inside. You are intelligent. Intelligent. You can do whatever it is that you want to do if you work to do it. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. You are not inferior to anybody else. Like I'll be building my babies up. They are not going to be out here depending on anybody to validate what they know, what they've worked for, and what they're capable of doing. So I think that's probably where you need to start. Like, hey, be like, not only I was born able, if God put the idea in my heart and in my mind, there's no way he's going to show it to me. And then I can't be able to get to it, especially if I'm putting in the work. So to people who are wondering, like, how can I become, like, how, how do I get my confidence to be on par with my path to where I'm going. Part of it is, hey, tune out the naysayers. You got to tune them out. Sometimes it's your family. Tune them out. And then associate with people who understand and want to help you get where you want to go. And then talk to yourself. I talk to myself. I'm like, Jackie, you are the ish. You are. You are fantastic. You are the bomb. There's nobody like you. You know, you have to let people know if you live a life without me, you can't even make a lateral movement from me. I'm the best, babe. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to hype y'all up, I'm trying to help you hype yourself up. But if you have any suggestions on, hey, or recommendations about being confident, especially as you pursue a life of medicine and you're helping people, I would love to hear them down below in the comments. Uh, you know, like, share all that jazz. Thank you.